Hey everybody, it's me Tara Michelle aka Opinionated Sense. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Now I know the video I'm supposed to be posting next should be part two of my haul. However, I just got something today that I had to share with you guys. So let's get right to it. So this goodie came today. This is Fancy Forever by Jessica Simpson. I do believe this is a very recent release. Oh, it's so cute. So with this comes the body lotion, the shower gel, um, a purse spray or travel spray and the full bottle. So it's really nice. I am so excited because I didn't know she was coming out with something new. I found out from um, Among the Stars perfume reviews. So, mm. so let's go ahead and give her a sniff. Oh, I like the atomizer a lot. This, let me show the bottle a little bit up close. I don't know if I got a, it's really cute. It's like see-through. Um, gold letters with the butterfly. There's like rhinestones or whatever around the bottom. It's cute. You know, it's a celebrity fragrance. It smells like a body mist. Um, this is nothing big or new. This is very similar to so many things I've smelled before that are citrusy. It's airy. It's going to be beautiful for the spring. I'm not really sure why this came out now. Um... I guess you could wear this in the fall. I've stated before that I can wear fall and spring uh, fragrances interchangeably. So it's zesty, it's fruity, but not a really sugary fruity, just like a natural fruit sweetness. Maybe some lemon or bergamot, uh, maybe apricot, a little bit of vanilla, maybe. But I also feel like there could be patchouli or vetiver in this. It's getting a little deeper the longer that it's been on the stick. So whereas when it first came out, it seemed like it would be bright and fresh and zesty for the spring. I think I would have released it a little earlier um, so that people could get it full wear for fall. But again, with COVID, I'm pretty sure that's why this uh, was a delayed release. It's not bad and it's very interesting with this this uh, dry down that's starting to form. It's definitely giving it more weight, more of a presence. It's moving out of the body mist and into a nice celebrity scent with a nice healthy um, dry down. With that being said, do I think you need to run out and get it? No. Is it nice? Yeah, for a celebrity fragrance, it is nice. I will be wearing it, um, of course, because I purchased it. And if it's just not for me, my daughter's already asked for it. So um, I, I think I was expecting something different. I wanted her to come with so much more than what we've already seen from her. But again, I'm telling you, this base is doing something. I'm going to get it on my skin. I'm going to get it, give a full wear. Um, I'm going to get it on my skin. I'm going to give it a full wear and come back and let you guys know. I'm talking about the weight of it. The fact that it's coming across more sophisticated and mature and less body misty. <laughs> I think I'm really liking this. It's also driving me crazy that this reminds me of something and I can't place it. So anyway, guys, those are my initial first thoughts on Jessica Simpson, Fancy Forever. I will revisit this once I give it a full try with the shower gel and the body lotion and the perfume itself. And I'll come back and let you guys know what I think in another video. So as always, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and set the notification bell so that you never ever miss any of my future uploads. And until then, bye.